Good morning. This is uh, Thursday, December 23rd, and uh, today's devotion is sharing in the atonement. This is Galatians 6. God forbid that I should boast except in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ. The gospel of Jesus Christ always forces a decision of our will. Have I accepted God's verdict on sin as judged on the cross of Christ? Do I have even the slightest interest in the death of Jesus? Do I want to be identified with his death, to be completely dead to all interest in sin, worldliness, and self? Do I long to be so closely identified with Jesus that I am of no value for anything except his purposes? The great privilege of discipleship is that I can commit myself under the banner of his, cro of his cross, and that means death to sin. You must get alone with Jesus and either decide to tell him that you do not want sin to die out in you, you want to keep sinning, or that at any cost you want to be identified with his death. When you act in confident faith in what our Lord did on the cross, he gave us a way out of all this stuff, a supernatural identification with his death takes place immediately. You become saved. And you will come to know through a higher knowledge that your old life was crucified with him. That's Romans 6, 6. The proof that your old life is dead, having been crucified with Christ, Galatians 2, is the amazing ease with which the life of God in you now enables you to voice the life of Jesus Christ. In other words, when you see something that you used to be involved in, and it's, it's sin, it's of the world, you say to yourself, I can't imagine ever doing that again. That's the life of Christ being so apparent within you that you recognize what it was he saved you from and you can't even begin to see yourself doing that again. Every once in a while, our Lord gives us a glimpse of what our lives would be like if it wasn't for him. And folks, that's pretty scary. On an eternal scale, that is scary. This is not a confirmation of what he said. Excuse me, this is a confirmation of what he said. When he said, without me, you can do nothing. That's John 15. That is why the underlying foundation of Christianity is personal. It is passionate. It is devotion to our Lord Jesus Christ. We mistake the joy of our first introduction into God's kingdom as his purpose for getting us there. And that it is part of it. To get us redeemed is part of it. But God's purpose is getting us into his kingdom, in getting us into his kingdom, is that we may realize all identification begins and ends through Jesus Christ. And that's my challenge today, is, is to see if we really do indeed identify with Christ. That means that we mirror him in how we live, how we see sin, how we react to those times in our lives. Do we look like Jesus Christ? Do we, do we mirror him? Are we identified with Christ? This topic comes up really big during Easter, so this is a little prelude get you thinking towards Easter, do we identify with Christ and his crucifixion and resurrection? Think baptism. Let's pray. Father, I thank you that you uh, call us to these moments in which we need to identify with your son. And well, that's how other people find Jesus is when they see him in us. It says in scripture, let your good works be seen by man so that may glorify your father who is in heaven. So Lord, we pray today that we would be identified with Christ that we'd really stop and reflect on what that means. Think back to what we used to do before Christ, and we can't imagine ourselves doing it now. We are now identified with Christ. We love you, Lord, and we give you this day, and we pray in Christ's name. Amen. God bless, and I'll see you tomorrow.